hello welcome back again to my channel um as you can see here i have the icon slider slider um with icon it's using nest table slider um, i want to make it auto scroll and luckily uh, splite has an extension to enable the auto scroll and you can see the uh, sample here from the Splied website itself um, let's apply this into our bricks I'm gonna edit with bricks the code is actually similar similar with the previous video but I will show you uh, some, uh, on my builder here okay so uh, the first thing is let's add the code element oh wah 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 uh, here I'm gonna put it on or or here I have the good idea since I I need it uh, only on my landing page I will use the custom code tab on the page settings um, I'm gonna put the code here okay first is let's see how um, it's work okay installation import this um, okay here I'm gonna do this uh, I'm gonna load the JavaScript file um, using like the, the CDN it's best to it's better to if, if you upload the JavaScript file, the extension on your server, on your hosting, but for the tutorial, I will uh, use the external file instead. Okay, let's just copy that and put here. Mm, yeah. Let's save it. And so, what's next? After importing file, mount the extension to Splide. Okay. Okay. So this is the code I have to use or uh, make it similar like this. And let's go to the uh, academy.bricksbuilder.io, uh, and this is the same code we used before. So let's just paste it because I need to get the instance of the cover of the slider of the slide so it's, let's pass it and the first thing is what is okay you can just replace this with your slide uh, with your element ID or your element script ID uh, but I will use uh, apa namanya Okay, let's let's do, let's do that. Okay, let's do that. Let's uh, see and copy paste our element uh, script ID. Okay, here this is my uh, slider element data script ID data attribute yeah. So let's just copy this and change this one. And okay, here tell the spy that any element with no drag is okay. We are gonna replace this and let's see the splide mount. Okay, so splide instance mount window splide extension. Okay, so let's just copy this, uh, paste it, and and let's copy this um, paste it to here um, mm, mm, mm. yeah I think this is uh, this is the uh, this is the good start maybe okay let's see <laughs> ah no it's not work let's see the splite already mounted okay the splite already mounted so what I need to do is um, you can see on the slide they have the um, what is event and they have the destroy I think okay so we are gonna destroy the sp the slide first and then mount 
again remount the slide um, we then include the auto scroll extension so something like this um, so let's go back so before we mount we need to destroy the slide okay so just destroy Hmm. Hmm. This is. I think this is good. So let's see. Oh no! Splite is already mounted. Splite instance. Destroy. Hmm. That's really interesting. Uh, let's see. Destroy. Yeah. Hmm. Which one? Uh, which is the wrong? Yeah. Moon. Let's see. Or. No. No. Um. Let's see my cheat sheet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So I have to do this. Pass it. And. Let's reload it. Oh, nice. It destroy it wait okay if you if you see on the apa namanya on the script uh, after it listen to the, the all uh, content on the page uh, become loaded it wait to maybe 200 uh, 250 millisecond i think and then it will run the function destroy the sp uh, splide and then remount again the splide with the extension enable so let's see okay nice and let's take a look at the option here we have the speed we have the auto start uh, rewind pause on hover pause on focus okay i'm gonna change the speed um so what i need to do is if you can see here there is a split instant option you can just copy uh, that and change the uh, no drag option into our auto scroll speed yeah something like this let's save it and let's see okay now it's going faster uh, let's let's change speed to 10 maybe we can rest again valentino rossi wow wow Wow, what the heck is this? <laughs> let's, let's 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 go back with like zero uh, point five second, half second. Yep, that's that's um yeah, that's that's nice, and that's that's it. I think yeah, yeah. This is only yeah the symbol code. I think you guys can do this. Um, so, uh, as usual, thank you for watching and happy coding. See you bye bye on the next video.